All right, how are we doing, y'all? Uh, it's a beautiful day here in Boulder, Colorado. You may or may not know, but Boulder shows out for the Grateful Dead shows in ways that I can't even describe. So we've got a, just a ton of rich hippies all around town. It's, it's, a, it's a wild time, but it's hotter than heck out here. I got my Birkenstocks on, Sans socks. I got the hogs out, so I mean, hey, it's a good day. It's a good day to talk about capital. But as you can see next to me, I've got the most recent shipment of capital. Um, capital has been something we've been uh, very happy to have as a brand in the shop now for, you know, shop's been open for six years and some change and it's been about that long. So um, we love capital, we're excited about it. We get a shipment about once a month now. Love it, can't speak highly enough of it. Uh, thank you for supporting us and knowing that you can come to us for capital. Uh, allows us to buy more of it and uh, all of us to personally own more of it. But. Yeah, so I'm just gonna talk through a couple pieces, call out some of the, uh, some of the maybe less technical highlights um, and just talk about it best I can. I've got this fringe board shirt, freaky deaky. You know what I mean? Like this is, this is what I think of when I think of Capital. I think of like the Century Denim, I think of the Smileys, but I think of this kind of stuff where they're taking a normal piece, adding some, you know, kind of like fun, freaky element to it. Um, that's either like Western inspired or hippie culture inspired, etc. And yeah, so it's got like sort of like a cropped-ish fit, maybe a, maybe a little more cropped in the front even, maybe kind of sits a little longer in the back, but cropped-ish fit. I believe it's five and a half ounces, so uh, very lightweight for summer. Um, you know, it'd be kind of cool to be pair this with a pair of uh, a pair of trues or a pair of uh, board shorts, you know what I mean, if you're out surfing, but nice and lightweight. Um, Cool and still wearable, uh, not too wild of a piece. So the board, sh the board shirt with fringe, spot on for capital. Uh, I chose this in my most recent pick a fit for the month of June, um, linen denim trucker jacket. It kind of sheer, it might be a little hard to see in the photo, but uh, light enough that it's a fairly sheer fabric. Um, as I highlighted in the other video, we've got texture along the collar and along like the trim here of the pocket. So it's like a, uh, kind of like a, a loose, almost gauzy material up top here on the collar and on the pocket. But this thing rules. It's lightweight enough to wear as like a summer shirt if you were to wear like a lightweight button down. Um, but also one thing worth noting is fully, full like year round, see, all seasons. Um, I like to wear type twos, this kind of stuff, underneath stuff in the winter. Um, as somebody mentioned on the last one, I'm always wearing a gang of layers, so it's cool to be able to layer up. It's lightweight and roomy. You could absolutely put it on top of something, underneath something, but uh, not to be slept on. Fella whittling a spoon as he walks by. Denim Men Loves Cats. This is a motif we've seen show up multiple times in the Capital Collection. This time it's got this uh, black and white cat situation. I'd like to point out the tail of the cat and the rest of the cat has a uh, felty, felty feel to it, um, but dope. Classic ringer tee, it's gonna fit, you know, fairly true to size, maybe leaning more on like Japanese sizing, so maybe a little, a little small for US sizing, but yeah, it's a cool piece. Um, like I said, a motif we've seen again and again, snag it up. I'm gonna go ahead and pull both these together. Standard sort of like capital climbing short. I say climbing short because of the built-in belt, similar you find to something on like a Grimichi pant or something. But we've got the smileys on the back. We all know and love the smileys. Everyone knows you're wearing capital. You know, you could pull this fit with your uh, Silver Surfer, uh, Adidas Sambas, whatever's hot right now. Um, Dope. Super lightweight, yet again, I would swim in these. You know what I mean? Kind of feels like a Patagonia baggy, uh, sans lining. Nice little back pocket with a zip. I personally really like the khaki color, the olive color. Uh, kind of pops with the yellow, but the black's nice as well. And then let me put these back and we'll start in on the Century Denim. So there's a lot of information about the Century Denim. Please head over to the website and read the product descriptions. Uh, Timothy has taken some time in that and uh, can speech, speak much more eloquently than I can in this short period of time. Uh, but like I said, this is something that everybody has come to know from Capital, the Century Denim. So it is full Sashiko stitched. Um, they're dyeing the fabric itself, making the garment, or rather dyeing the fabric and then the Sashiko stitching, which is just one piece of yarn um, stitched all the way through the garment. 
Uh, when the West was bar tacking garments, the Japanese were sashiko stick stitching to promote longevity and make a garment last longer, wear harder, you know, think like your uh, Carhartt canvas, situation like that. But so the fabric comes super stiff, definitely requires a break in. Um, having flashbacks of about 2012, 2013, wearing jeans that are super stiff, break them in, make sure they're your own. Uh, this is like a super fun way of doing that. In fact, when I was getting into jeans back in college, I remember seeing people wear a fit with these, and the persimmon dyed ones, and thinking, damn, that shit's crazy. Maybe one day I'll, uh, I'll see these, and now we're selling them, so that's pretty cool, full circle. But anyway, I'm holding the uh, double triple, triple indigo color here. Extremely, extremely dark. It might even the video read on a closer black, but it is an extremely dark indigo. Um, as you wear, the sashiko thread and the fabric itself wear at different colors and rates. Um, so what I've seen from some people when they break these in is like a very high contrast, almost like royal blue up against like a, a, an indigo breaking in, similar to what you would expect from like an over dyed indigo. These are dope. Show some love to these and then highlight these other two colors as well. We've got one that is uh, dyed with some unripened persimmon mixed with indigo. And then this is their more standard one. It looks like an indigo and it has like kind of like a gray cast to the denim itself. Um, I really love this one. I think this is like, it reads brown. It still has the indigo notes in it, but it reads more on the brown side, which is kind of cool in a workwear way. Um, but yeah, so this is gonna fit kind of slim-ish and I would recommend sizing up. So uh, a 34 is gonna read like a US 32, a 36 is gonna read like a US 34, uh, and so on. So uh, if you're closer to a 36, don't be shy, snag the 38. All right, and then lastly, onto the jackets. I missed this jean here, but I'm gonna highlight the fabric here in the Century Denim jacket. Um, mud dyed. So Capital just did a really good write-up on this. They sent us some of the uh, pamphlets, if you will, maybe a, maybe a zine for all the hardcore heads out there. But talking about exactly how they do this. So, you know, up to 200 grams of yarn is used in every Century Denim piece. Um, they're mud dyeing this garment, uh, both the yarn and, and I believe the fabric itself, and then uh, manufacturing it after the fact, but super cool. This, I would say, does read straight up black. But then in the sun, the shishiko stitching itself has like a brown, like a brown gray cast to it. Sick. One thing I want to note, uh, a lot of times capital goes up to like a size five, or at least that's what we buy for. We have these up to a size six. Um, I myself prefer an XL in mostly everything. I would probably do a size four in this. this I was swimming in a six. So everyone out there who, uh, might need to size up in capital or, or need, or, you know, feels like maybe the, the biggest size doesn't work for them. I think you'd be surprised. This whole kit can accommodate uh, larger sizes. So something to think about, but the mud dye is dope. Built like a type one with some type two detailings ish, but we got the nice pocket on the front. We have the cinch here in the back. And then obviously the type two detailing that we come to know and love uh, these, these plackets, I suppose you could say. But mud dyed version, let me grab the others just to show you in the light. So you gotta love it, you know? Worth noting, uh, I really like the contrast of the yellow and gold stitching, and then there's also copper stitching going across uh, the armhole here, and same on this one. So kind of cool to see the de details carried throughout, but Capital Century Denim, uh, it's June 2023. Very nice to be getting this. And that is gonna wrap up the Capital Talk Through. Thank you for listening to me bullshit and talk for a little bit. Uh, yeah, as always, like, comment, subscribe. Be in touch if you want an invite to the Discord. We're probably gonna close that off here shortly. And uh, yeah, at the time of this going live, seasonal sale is still happening. Um, we're at 30% right now, so hop on and snag your sizes while you still can. And yeah, truly, it's been a pleasure. Thank you for watching. Thank you for commenting. Every, everyone is so nice. Thank you, I really appreciate it. Talk soon.